I'm about to get some I've wanted for a long time. Cheers for this key. Well, now we've got the beauty, let's give her a first trip. And guess where we're heading? We're heading to Wales, aren't we? See you there. And we're here. What a spot we have found. Well, I say we found. I found it on part for night. That app that like, people upload when they find a good spot such as this. But it's sometimes hit and miss and you can never tell if it's actually worth the visit. And this one, I'll tell you one thing, the, the, the photos just don't do it justice. I'm going to have to slap some up there just to reassure people this is the one. Because it's banging. So we're going to get the tent box up. It's been a while since I've had it out, actually. because Well, because of this. And this is exactly what the video is about, isn't it? So I'm going to get it out get set and then we're going to sit down have a sippy sip get to know each other and more importantly get to know the van like what it is why i got it and uh, the dramas in getting it because hiya mate no we... who's this Daddy. who's in the van Mommy. who's your favorite me, me, me. no you meant to say daddy Oh, she's looking well, isn't she? Fine figure on that. Anyhow, we're about set up, so let's have a house tour. Starting off with the kitchen, we have the water tank on the right, table and stove on the left with the pan on, ready for these burgers for tea, which I'm very much ready for, to be honest with you. Ice bag with ice pack, obviously. They last you about a day because it's just, you know, bogged up. It's not plugged into anything, but, you know, it's what we've got, so we're using it. Got day packs in the back there with a baby carrier, just in case we fancy tackling Snowden while we're in Wales. I mean, we fancy it. I mean, I've done it once already with my mate Liam. We did. Up the pig track, if you're wondering, down the miners. That was class. It was like, it was March and the, the weather conditions were mad. It was like, honestly, like minus 11, mad 55 mile an hour wind chill. So it was very, very good. I'm hoping for a completely different experience if I take family up there. And we'll be doing a different route, obviously. Uh, be doing like, the, is it the Landberries? Landberries, I don't know. Once again, cannot pronounce Welsh stuff to save my life, but we try, barely. Anyway, moving on. Sleeping system, you ask? Upstairs, bedroom, let me take you. All right, so that ladder. Oh, look at that sunlight giving it the effect and everything. Yeah, it's a better shot in it. Less of the sunlight, more of the bed. This is a tent box light XL, and it like fits me, Miz, and Noah perfectly. I tell you something, right? So you get obviously a mattress to come with it, but then we got this mattress topper. Just adds that a little bit more, and especially if you're a side sleeper like me and Miz, just adds that comfort. It's like being at home, mate. Got a chef on the go. Are you cooking tea, mate? Well, I've had a change of heart. I thought, I don't want to cut my burgers in my van because I thought carpets are just going to soak up the spitting oil and whatnot, aren't they? So we're outside using the van as a bit of a, a windshield as well as this nice little thing that I got in my last trip. If you haven't seen the video, Cleveland Way, link down below. Give you a little watch. But anyway, back to this. Uh, yeah, burger each. Got one of those Morrison salads as well to go with it because I hadn't had them in years and I had one the other day. I was like, oh my God, these are banging. I forgot about these. Anyway, let's get down to business. The van. A VW Transporter T5.1 2 litre diesel. I've been wanting one of these for like forever and they've always just been just a little bit too expensive for me. And then this one came along local as well. And I just I decided to have it. I was absolutely buzzing to find it. And the guy that saw me it was absolutely sound as well. Really nice guy. Um, but every single one I'd found before this was like, like I said, too expensive and a million miles away. It was like a trip to Mordor. Do you know what I mean? Like four or five hour drive. Oh, absolute godsend this. Absolutely love it. But this is my first trip away and i was thinking oh because whenever you get a car or a van or whatever for me there's a bit of trust issue like i'm not i don't really have that connection with you yet so i don't know if you're reliable so i was like here's your test don't let me down 10 miles out of town right engine management went on i went here we go here we anyway luckily first time in my life i got road recovery literally a couple of days ago as well and they came out to me uh they sorted it straight away no bother um and on on the road i went so i'm so glad that i actually went ahead and did that because that would have been a stressful one. So I had a Peugeot 3008 before this, and I didn't know that the engines aren't very good in them until I got to know, if you know what I mean. Um, and then it gave me the excuse to get a van, because I've always fancied one, but me and Miz have never really been able to warrant actually forking out for one. So the lifestyle that I sort of have suits it, like, you know, the tent box with the family. I really enjoy hiking, really enjoy doing the mountains, just getting out in sort of 
in the outdoors like this is just like my thing. Do you know what I mean? It's my fix, if you will. Um, so yeah, it just goes hand in hand on it. Gives us a bit of living room downstairs, uh, as well as having the tent box, where with the car, it's so cramped. I couldn't believe packing this, right? I put the same stuff I put in my car in this. I was like, am I forgetting anything? Because there was so much more space left, obviously, where the car is like chock-a-block to the roof. Anyway, burgers are ready. I've chatted enough. Let's get some scrum. Right, now burgers down me. I'm fancying a dip. And I reckon there's nothing more you'd want to see than a pale blooded geezer bobbing about. Is that right? Let's have a look at the ready. Let's be in. It's cold, mate. Hi. Are you going to have a go? No. Hey. <laughs> a high five? Yeah. Yeah, he smashed it, oh. mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? No one wants to come in? Yeah, do you know what? He surprised me with that. I didn't think he was a fan. Good lad. Anyway, I'll tell you what, the water isn't actually that cold. I thought it was going to be cold. I mean, I don't know why I'm surprised because it's been really hot. I think it's been like 27, 28 degrees today. <laughs> right, guys, I'm going to end the night there. I'm going to have a few of these and get to bed. god we had it in our heads we we're gonna have a mad sleep last night like it was still it was just nice do you know what i mean and as soon as we got in the tent box like blowing a gale i'm not joking like it's the strongest wind we've ever been in that the roof actually came up and lifted out so we had to like fix it at like two or three o'clock in the morning noah slept all through it it wasn't bothered anyway we're gonna get on to on to some breakfast and then we'll talk about the few modifications that have already been done on this and the few little ones that i've done and i'm planning to do <laughs> Well, that was delicious. So I'm going to do the dishes and then I'm going to get in myself and give myself a little scrubby dub uh, with some body wash I brought. Because why not? One, hygiene in it. Two, after last night's kit, probably need a little bit of refreshment. So scran, cold dip and then a coffee should set me up for the day. It's one of them though. Even if you have a bad night, you sort of just like, once you're rough and about, you just get on, don't you? Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa, I see. Did you see that, Noah? <laughs> Literally just about to sit down with me, brew, and then that jet. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> I see. Oh, well, that was mega. I wasn't expecting that. But yeah, back to a van chat that I left yesterday. So. The modifications that were already done on the van when we got it were new stance coilovers and drop links and it's actually sat lovely because obviously you can adjust them but i ain't gonna bother because like i said sat lovely uh, it's also got 19 inch amarok alloys it's also got two swivel chairs in the front as well which are absolutely mega so obviously the swivel round face in the back and there's a table that you can have come down so it's just nice it's also already been soundproofed and insulated which is a godsend otherwise i would have had to do that it's also got a proper smart front bumper and splitter couldn't tell you what the bumper actually is some of you might know i have no idea i also like little accents like this the fact that that's black rather than the chrome i think that looks really really smart also there's like uh side lights whatever you call it that are purple which are kind of cute but one thing i want to do to it is actually make a like an l-shaped bed frame using pallets right get like some foam cut out of, like a custom mattress basically and have that for winter because I mean, it doesn't even have to be winter, but like last night's perfect example, that was not fun when it's blowing a gale, where the van probably is still pretty fun. Um, so that's something I'm going to work on you know, in the coming months, probably be slapping on YouTube as well. Um, and I want it so I can still keep the back seats in, so I can obviously ship nowhere from here to be, and I have to keep taking the seats in and out. And obviously, if we're going away, I need them seats for him anyways. Other than that, it's just like a few little tweaky little customizations, if you will, and I'll show you the few that we've already done. So we didn't need the third seat, so I took it out, and you can get these little caps, as you can see, that fill the holes look at that happy days another thing i want to do is put some net up on this wall and it'll just be good to stuff like rain jackets and whatnot in all right well i'm, I'm feeling this spot so this will be our second night of the trip uh, and i'm about to go on a bit of a circular route i've seen on all trails there's uh, an hour and a half two hour hike so me and i are going to strap up and get up up the hills while Miz gets her head down. Now then lads, don't mind us. 
You were scared, not me. What are you on about? Look at that one. Oh, I've just stood in a fresh dollar. Oh, oh dear. Any need for that, Keith? No, he doesn't like me. <laughs> Twenty to seven. We're gonna get an early one tonight. Uh, finish that trail half an hour, an hour ago. Whatever. Set up tent box. The sweaty one. Decent amount of incline. Decent sun. And uh, trousers. Not a good combination if you don't want to sweat. But anyway, just thought I'd show you this before we do head to bed because uh, I've got, as you can see, just topping up the water supplies. Gonna have a quick brew. And uh, we used to bring like packs of like two liter bottles, like six packs, and just you know use them as we go. But this is so handy, man. And it's my granddad's, uh, he's got a company called Reflut. It sells like top-up units of fish tank. But as you can see, stick a tap on it, voila. Got myself a new flask today as well, didn't I? Quite a fan of that. Anyhow, if I don't see you for the rest of the evening, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. morning and i'll tell you something it's a cold one hence the hood and whatnot and i didn't really bring many layers this trip because uh, the weather was looking mad and then obviously the uk you can never be quite sure anyhow we're gonna have this and we're gonna pack up and head up to snowdown here So we're parked up for our third night. Cairniform, definitely not how you pronounce it, but that's what I'm going with. We're going for a swim again. <laughs> <laughs> His own mouth. He was the one that had the idea of coming out. I had no intentions of coming in the sea today, but there we are. But um, yeah, back to some van chat. So that, as I said earlier on, there was a right faff going on getting the actual van, and basically what happened was, I was looking for ages, couldn't find one that wasn't a million miles away. My mate sent me a Facebook link and it was literally a 40 minute drive. And I messaged a guy and he said, oh, someone's already coming to get it tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning. I went, please, mate, let me come and see it tonight and I'll take it off your hands. Something along those lines. And he was like, what, tonight, mate, you won't be able to see anything. It's pitch black. I was like, I've got a head torch. I'll be able to see everything. So off I went, managed to get a friend to drop me off. Yeah, it was love at first sight, clearly. And that would have been absolutely fine if that's where it ended. But I went into the house to do the bank transfer and then realise all of a sudden that I have like one of them little keypad security things that some bank accounts have. And lo and behold, I'd forgotten it. I did, didn't I? Yeah. I, I then thought, right, I'll send it to my lass, she'll send it to him. And she doesn't have a keypad for security, but instead she has a three to four hour waiting security process. Um, and obviously, like I said, 11 o'clock at night, don't really have three or four hours to play with. So we sat out there for an hour having a coffee. Yeah, near midnight having a coffee, why not? I was just hoping it'd come through like sooner rather than later. Obviously it didn't, that'd be too easy. Bless him, the guy took me home. And as he stood up to take me home, he said, right, I'm going to do something now. It's going to look dodgy. I promise you I'm not dodgy. And out of his back pocket, he pulled out a blade. I was like, oh, I've just sent him his money. It's not gone through yet, but it's going. I'm about to get cut up, aren't I? And I can see it from his point of view, to be honest. It was funny. He's like, I was very persistent on seeing it that night in the dark. I said our friend was coming with me. So we sort of thought the worst. You never know this day and age, do you? So fair play. Um, but I was like, well, as you can see, soft as anything. So put your knife away. I had a laugh about it and off we drove home and I knew it was a decent geese because as we got in his car, he had Eminem playing. I mean, enough said, innit? That's not a good sign guys, mountain rescue out. But what's also not a good sign is uh, we're hoping to get the tram on the way down. Noah loves trams, trains, anything. Also me and Miz are absolutely knackered now. 
have an instrap to me is harder than I imagined it was going to be. We've just been talking to a couple who've just said it's booking only today for the trams. Obviously we aren't booked. So I've just managed to have a word with someone and they're going to sneak us in on an extra little tram one even though it's fully booked I'm going to squeeze us in I fibbed and said no I was wet through I'm going to pretend that we can't get one and we've got a walk down There's <laughs> now They're going to squeeze us on oh my God. <laughs> my I, said, I said no I was wet through can you get us on He was like do you know what we'll do an extra one The few of us will bob you all on and get you down oh, okay. Yes! Oh. Well done you smashed it mate Well, waking up to this weather, blowing a gale and raining, I reckon we've had the best part of the weather this week in Wales. That's four days finished, so we're going to head home now. And if you're still watching this point of the video, I genuinely do appreciate it. See you in the next one.